so I can't believe no one has said this before, or talked about this, or done anything about this before, but getting blown off. A lot of times, guys, we don't know that we're actually getting blown off. Here's what happens. So, a guy will text or call this girl and say, Hey, so we still on for tonight? Oh, um, watch out for that. That's number one. There's This is a three-step process, but that's the first one. Because that's most likely going to be followed by some kind of excuse. It's going to be believable, but it's going to be an excuse and a way out. And the funny thing is, though, you could be the biggest uh, douchebag, asshole, the ugliest motherfucker alive. A girl will take time out of her day, literally time out of her day to think about what she's going to say to get out of this. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, she's going to think about that. Uh, you know, Kelly, what do I do? Kelly, what do I do? What do I do? Tell him, tell him something. I don't know what to tell him. He's on the phone right now. What do I say? I don't know what to do. What to tell him. Um, you know, I just, I just have a lot of laundry to do. I have a lot of laundry. Two. Laundry. And, you know, could we do a rain check? Could we do a rain check? Yeah. Uh, uh, eh, uh, laundry, rain check, you've been blown off. That's a three-step process. A laundry, they use it all the time. That's the one excuse that a girl will use very, very often to get out of something is laundry. Laundry. For what God reason, we never knew until now. If a guy has to do laundry, it's an emergency. Let that sink in. If a guy has to do laundry, he no longer has any clean underwear. I know what you're thinking, Dan, uh, he ran out today? No. No, he did not. He ran out last week, okay, he's been wearing that shitty underwear in the back of your drawer that you never touch right now. He's wearing that, you know, you know what I mean? It was like, uh, the, the one on Valentine's Day that you got when you were like in ninth grade or whatever and your girlfriend thought it would be cute to get those silk velvety red boxers or those briefs that say like, I heart fart or something stupid. Those stupid little guys that just you never touch, you're wearing now. Like, trying to adjust yourself all the time, and, and you know now, when you see a guy adjusting his junk, it's not because he's playing with himself, it's because he's wearing that shitty underwear. So that's why, that's why we believe you. When we blow you off, it's much more obvious. God, you, you know you, you've been blown off. I mean, you know. You have to know. You have to know. If you don't know, then this video is for you. Usually when a guy blows a girl off, it's gonna be out somewhere. It's gonna be like at a bar or something like that. Hey, keep in mind, usually the girl is like really either really, really drunk, or she's usually just really, really drunk. So then, I, you know, you know, hang out after, why? You know, like, hang out, why? And the first response, like, <laughs> and she's just like, <laughs> You're serious. Number two. Said I like you know with me hang out after why like you wanna like hang out? Yeah, I'm right here. Okay, look at me. Look at me. I'm right here. You just I just I just uh, I, You're there? Now I'm here. Listen to what I'm saying, okay? No. No. Not drunk enough for that. Nope. The third one. So then I I'm sorry, what'd you say? I say I'm sorry, what was that? And you get her to lean in a little bit, you get her to lean in like just a little bit more. Say I say What was that dude? What's up? Oh, you need me? All right, I'll be right there. Hold up. Here's the line. You ready? Here it is. The one you hear most often. Uh, hold on. I'll be right back. Gone. <whistles> Gone. No more me. I know some of you girls with this sitting there and going like, Oh, duh, Dan. I know that line. Like, for real. Like, I hear that all the time. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, you'll be right back. Oh, yeah, you'll be right back. Really? You'll be right back. Don't jump to conclusions, okay? For instance, if... I say, oh, hold on, I need to go to the bathroom, I'll be right back. And then you immediately think that I'm saying, I'm blowing you off, I'm going to go into the crowd and try to avoid you at all costs throughout the rest of the night. 
But sometimes you're wrong. Yep. Oh, really? Oh, really? You need to go to the bathroom? Is that what it is? You need to go to the bathroom? No, go ahead. Go to the bathroom. No, 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 seriously. Go ahead. You go to the bathroom. I'll be here. Seriously, I just want you to know something really quickly before you go. Um, you just missed out on this. You could have had this. See these? You could have had them, but you didn't. I was going to give it up tonight. I was, I was seriously willing to just... Just rock your world. Be the best sex you ever had. But no, not now. You don't know why? Because you're just a dick. You're just a dick, Dan. You're a dick, you're a dick, you're a dick, you're a dick. Dick, 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 dick. Dick, dick, dick. But now you missed out, so no, no, no. Seriously, go. No, seriously, go. Go. No, seriously, seriously. No, really, go. No, seriously, go. Really, just go. Really, just go. I don't know what this is. What is this? It's just like, it's just like my hands go, it's like a pocket for my hand. It's like, you want to talk to me? And just bam, bam. In the pocket. In the pocket. <clears throat> Seriously? No, no, no. You go ahead. I want to be my friends over here. That's you. This is us. Here's you. And there we are. So, bye. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Seriously. You're, you're still here? You don't go to the bathroom anymore? Really? Okay. No. Fuck you. Fuck you. Seriously. Um, I've had about six drinks, so I really actually have to go to the bathroom. And I really was going to come back here. I actually just really have to pee. Oh. <laughs> I was just playing with you. I was playing. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? No, seriously, I'm fine. It was just a joke. I thought, I know you're a comedian, I thought that would be funny. Ah, <laughs> it was stupid. I'm sorry, I'm not funny at all. Seriously. Then you can just come back over here when you get back. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Uh, no, I'm saying like, I'll be over here with my girls, and you can just come over here. I really can't hear you. I said, Dad, I said. What was that? Oh, you need me? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold, hold on, I'll be right back.